students, let's start our second review. So many new ideas, I'll work to make them worth. I can reach higher by trying hard. What will be my choice? My future I will write. I'm strong enough to fight for all my rights. To be a doctor, a janitor, a nurse, engineer, DJ, waiter, a policeman that serves. An actress, writer, driver, designer, you're free to choose your life that you deserve. Knowledge is the source in which I'll find my way. That's the start to make my dreams come true. I'll put my mind into getting in this world of work. To be myself a part of this world too. To be a doctor, a janitor, a nurse, engineer, DJ, waiter, a policeman that serves. An actress, writer, driver, designer, you're free to choose the life that you deserve. Lesson 20. Our second review. Chegamos hoje à nossa segunda revisão. Hello, Mariana. Hi. What are you doing? I'm writing a letter to my brother. Oh. Do you have brothers and sisters? Yes, I do. I have one brother and one sister. Lembram-se do nome em inglês de cada um dos nossos parentes? Grandmother. Grandfather, father, dad, mother, mom, daughter, son, brother, sister, niece, nephew, uncle, aunt, cousins. Outro ponto importante foi o verbo do, que nós já tínhamos visto com o sentido de fazer, mas não como verbo auxiliar. Lembram? Oh. Do you have brothers and sisters? Yes, I do. I have one brother and one sister. O verbo auxiliar ajuda a formar frases interrogativas e negativas. Para fazer uma pergunta, basta colocar o do antes do sujeito. Mas, se o sujeito da frase for he She ou it, do vira does. E nós tiramos o S do verbo principal, ok? She loves her cat. Does she love her cat? She doesn't love her cat. Mariana, do you want to be a teacher too? I don't know. I want to be an actress, but it is too difficult. I want to be a dentist too. Mm, but, but I love to write. Maybe I want to be a writer. Or a photographer. I love to take pictures. Oh, I don't know what I want to be. And you? Do you know? I don't know. Let me see. Doctor, firefighter, lawyer, dentist, taxi driver, soccer player, telemarketing operator. Profissões. Professions. Lembram-se desta lição? Teacher, doctor, police officer, musician, bus driver, actor, actress, dentist, writer, lawyer, engineer, electrician, painter, Waiter, waitress, tourist guide, travel agent, salesman, saleswoman, hairdresser, gardener, photographer, firefighter. Uh, where do we put this? You can put it in the kitchen. Where do we sit? We can sit here in the living room. Great. House, backyard, garden, kitchen, living room, bathroom, bedroom, hallway, door, window, 
floor, walls. What's your name? My name is Mariana Soares. Date of birth? April 14, 1981. Primeiro ponto para relembrar, meses do ano. Months of the year. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Para dizer a data do seu aniversário, Mariana diz primeiro o mês e depois o dia. E, ao invés de dizer 14, ela diz 14. Vamos ver como os números ficam. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. What time do you have to work, Pedro? Monday is my day off. On Tuesdays, Wednesdays and Thursdays, I have to work from 10 to 6. And on Fridays and on weekends, I, I start at 9 and finish at 7 o'clock. Lembram-se das preposições in, at e on? Vamos lá. On para os dias da semana. On Monday, on Tuesday, on Saturday. In para territórios bem grandes, in Brazil, in Acre, in Minas Gerais. Ou para lugares específicos da casa, in the kitchen, in the living room. E at para falar das horas, at 10 o'clock, at 5 o'clock. Ou para falar de lugares específicos, tipo at home, at the bakery, at the drugstore. Remember! I'm a little worried. The barbecue man is not here yet. Would you call him, please? Yes, I would. Outro ponto importante é o verbo auxiliar would, que nós utilizamos quando gostaríamos de fazer alguma coisa ou que alguém fizesse algo para a gente. Um favor, por exemplo. Would you do me a favor, please? So, we have some people to call. Uh -huh. Lucas, can you be the DJ? No, I can't. I'm not a DJ, but my uncle has a forró band. O alfabeto, the alphabet. Vamos ouvir a música novamente porque ela nos ajuda a memorizá-lo. Let's hear the song again. <música> 